We've cycled over 1600 kilometers, we've just made new friends and for the first time everything seems perfect. Welcome to our second week in Sicily where we travel in a group of five. Carmen, Chima, Trufa and us. This is exciting and there's even more great news. Christmas is around the corner and it's official now. There will be a long distance bicycle travel get together in Sicily. It will happen at the foot of Mount Etna, a huge active volcano. We just have to get there on time. Mm, good morning. Yes, yes. Cook, cook. It's a beautiful day, right? Yes. Doc says yes. Matthias is trying to find the best way to dry the tent. It's very exhausting though. I don't like it. Maybe I can put it there. With that, we leave our epic camp spot at the Scala dei Torci behind us. Time to get on the saddle. <sighs> I'm out of breath already. Climbing just a couple of meters. Even steeper hill ahead. <laughs> so I'm pretty happy that I do not have to push a trolley up. Just my belly, that's enough. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, the weather just... here, I mean, we would be freezing to death. I know, I know. Yeah. Yoo we have just one week to cover roughly 350 kilometers. What might sound rather manageable is not so easy in Sicily. It's pretty mountainous. And as we discovered last week, this island is cluttered full with awe-inspiring pieces of history and beauty. Even Mount Etna is a UNESCO World Heritage by itself. And on our way there, lay a whole lot more. So sometimes dogs do not understand that you are human when you're on the bike and they're not used to it. Uh, and then they get very scared and could become aggressive. So you must make them understand that you're not, I don't know, a horse or whatever. Oh. It gets really tricky when there's suddenly softer sand. That's not very nice. Hello, Kupa! Super scary stuff because there's usually no space for us. So we try to be seen really, really good. Put on our one vest, turn on the light, and then pray for the best. Right? We are alive! It's 14th of December and we are having this great sunny weather. It's amazing. Yeah. I'm sweating a lot, but it's amazing. We started our world tour very late in the year, and while the weather and the short days had been challenging us a lot, there are also many pros to cycling in the off-season. We have some fantastic places pretty much to ourselves and can camp where it would not be viable in busier times of the year. Here in Sicily we also took rooms for the first time on our trip, and while that is a burden on our budget, the rates were quite reasonable. No wonder, some places can even have a ghostly vibe. He is following. <laughs> this is love. This is true love. We are here at an undisclosed location at the beach, pretty much uh, just for ourselves. It's empty and beautiful. There's more tomatoes and more everything. So mm -hmm. yeah, salad, mozzarella, voila. Voila. onion. Oh, look at this. Sandwich here, which, uh, <laughs> how is it? Mm. Mm. Amazing, very Italian. Oh, look who's there! There we go. <laughs> Cold, no, no, no. cold water. Buongiorno, buongiorno. We reached Gila, a rather unremarkable town with a train station. Ivan had made a convincing case for not cycling that next stretch. According to our research, bringing a bicycle on the train to Agusa is not allowed, but we try our luck anyway. The train conductor does not seem too happy. 
When I ask the train conductor pointing at my bicycle yelling Ragusa, Ragusa, Bicicletta, he nodded at first stating no problemo. But when he realized that it's four of us plus a dog and a trolley, he started to panic screaming impossible, impossible. Let's say we have a strong power of persuasion. Apart from this uh, nice lady, we are the only people in the train actually. Um, and we had to really, really cram our bicycles in because it's not supposed to take any bicycles. So we had now three bicycles in the entrance area. Uh, I had to fold my handlebar to the side so we could fit my bike here in the passenger area. The Cathedrale di San Giovanni Battista of Ragusa is a Roman Catholic cathedral dedicated to St. John the Baptist. Two Sicilian master builders oversaw the project and therefore some details of the Church of San Giovanni are typical of the Baroque monuments of the region. She got a little bit sick, maybe because she ate some bones that she shouldn't have eaten. No, 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 Luca, stay here. Yeah, so now um, she cannot go properly to the toilet. <laughs> she cannot poo properly. She should eat potatoes with oil. Carmen and Gemma took her to the doctor and he told them that everything is fine. But yeah, she should have some soft food. <laughs> And now we all wait until Trufa poos. <laughs> Fortunately, soon after two portions of oily potato mesh, Trufa is able to relieve herself and is back to her normal and adorable behavior. We hurry to leave Ragusa and make our way towards Schickli, which is also part of the UNESCO World Heritage Site called Val di Noto. The whole southeastern region of Sicily was devastated by the 1693 earthquake, which, with a magnitude of 7.4, is likely the most extreme earthquake in Italian history. The extent and degree of destruction resulted in extensive rebuilding of the towns and cities of the Val di Noto, described as the culmination and final flowering of Baroque art in Europe. It's getting late, and we find a beautiful camp spot about half the way to Shikli. The day didn't go as planned, but we can enjoy a beautiful sunset. Trufa is having the best time of her life. In most of Italy, cemeteries are in a walled enclosure on the outskirts of cities and towns. Before Napoleon introduced the current practice of urban cemeteries with the 1804 Edict of St. Cloud, several different burial methods were common. It forbade burials in churches and inside of towns to provide a sanitary and indiscriminate solution. In some European communes, this edict remained valid into the 21st century. Today, most Italian cemeteries consist mainly of multi-story rows of concrete walls sealed with a marble plaque with a small photo of the inhabitant in life. Over time, some people built special chapels and tombs, so some cemeteries have now become open-air museums of funerary art, also known as monumental cemeteries. So we stopped in a cafe when we arrived to the village and we asked this woman what could we see in the village, what was worth to see, and she was like, oh, there's nothing here, just go away to Noto or Syracuse, there's nothing here to see. So we came up the hill and she's right, there's not much. <laughs> uh, she said about not, some churches and stuff, right? Yeah, she said like, well, there is a couple of churches, but not much. Look at this, not much here, she said. <laughs> and we are just freaking out by the views. Buongiorno. Buongiorno! How did you arrive at Santo Giustino? 
Ah, vino oh. Grecia. Partire de la España, Alemania. Arribati, Grecia, Turquía, Le, Mon Le Mondo. Gran giro, gran giro. Lungo giro. Lungo giro. Ahora no, 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 no. Ahora noto. ¿Dónde? Noto. Noto, noto. No, no, sí, no, no. sí. La formata ya noto. Sí. Sí. Está muy atento, ya hemos noto, piano, piano. Piano, piano. Piano, piano. Piano, piano, piano. ¿Has capito? Sí. Capito, capito. Tú, 94. Sí. 94. Bravísimo. Grazie, grazie, grazie. So she has seen everything. È mia figlia. Prendo no, perché ha due figli che mi portano. Hai capito? Poi io sono una donna. Una donna? Di una figlia. Sì. Sposata di figli. Ah. Di figli ah. bambini. Ah, sì. bambino. Sì, donnietto. Eh, eh, de gran sono sono sì. No, no. Hai capito? Sì. Della no. mamma e della figlia. Ah. Sì. Ah. Oh, Gemma, please no, that's devastating to my ego. Look at this guy, he's pulling 50 kilograms of a lovely dog named Kufa, 50 kilograms of trolley and he's going quicker up the hill than I do, come on. <sighs> Two months carrying Kufa, two months. Modica. Another UNESCO heritage. Yeah, they have them here everywhere. Like we've been to another one earlier in the day and the woman living there says like, well, there's nothing to see here really, go somewhere else. <laughs> It's really, really cold. We did not freeze during the night though, uh, but obviously everything is really, really wet. The tent is super wet. Uh, it was very, very close to freezing. After three days of cycling together, we decide to split, as we find oh. it challenging to align our needs. We all just managed the difficult phase of adopting new routines that work for us as a couple on the road. Now we are double the amount of people, plus lovely Trufa. Ironically, part of the problem is that because we enjoy each other's company so much, everyone is overcautious in expressing personal needs. So we decide to split, but look forward to meeting them very soon again for Christmas at Etna. That was a great place for the night, close to a small river that made it extra humid but other than that fantastic place the owner lives just around the corner and we asked them where we could stay and said oh yeah yeah you can stay here so now not all it is let's go we are on our way to Syracuse where we want to spend our special day but first we pass through Noto The city of Noto does not only give its name to the whole province, but it's also the prime example of the unique style of city planning and the exuberant Sicilian Baroque architecture. Just another UNESCO World Heritage uh, City. Nothing special, you know, it's Sicily. What can you do? After seeing half of its population wiped out by the 1693 earthquake, the entire city was rebuilt on a new site, following a strict grid plan to accommodate a ridiculous amount of churches and palaces. For me, Noto was a longing place since I watched the iconic movie La Ventura by Antonioni from 1960. It has a crucial scene playing on top of the roofs of this beautiful city. Ma guarda che fantasia, che movimento. Ti preoccupavano degli effetti scenografici. Che libertà straordinaria. Our lunch location in Noto. 
casual lunch, um, which we just finished, and also our casual tent drying. The next day we arrive in Syracuse, obviously another UNESCO World Heritage Site. We head straight for the Piazza Duomo on the Ortigia Island, where the city was founded 2700 years ago by the Greeks. It was the most important city of Magna Grecia and even served as the capital of the Byzantine Empire for six years. Okay, that's not that long actually. Anyhow, we did spend a romantic evening to celebrate our leather anniversary and looking back at the last few months, it really is a special one. It's the uh, 19th of December. It gets uh, dark really quick, um, uh, but life is full on because it's a Sunday. Uh, four days until Christmas. And beautiful. The city is just beautiful. Catania is actually the biggest agglomeration of Sicily. It lies on the base of the giant volcano. You might as well have guessed it by now. It features incredible Sicilian Baroque and is therefore UNESCO World Heritage. At this point though, it is just on the way to our host for Christmas, John. We have to climb up the highest town on the slopes of Etna. But before, we quickly plunge ourselves in the exhilarating vibe of this metropolis by visiting the street market. <laughs> like fruity. Positive, positive. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Germany. Germany? Si. Germany, Sicily? Yes. Giro, yeah, si, si, si. Giro del Monde. Giro del Monde. Si. Dove dormire? Tent. Camping. Tent. Tent. A tenda? Si. E ora risalgo, non guardo. Now, how go? Uh, Nicolosi. Nicolosi? Uh, today, Nicolosi Where's with the wife. Si, si, si. Today. And, and, and. I know, I know. Let the fun begin. Climbing 700 meters up today. Oh no, the road is closed. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, please say no. Please let us pass. We must pass. Oh, Behind those wow. trees over there. I think from the other side of Maybe the house. You can see. Uh, there it's up, huh? there so is. we're really high up, yeah. almost one of the highest uh, houses here around, I think. Um, John left us the keys, so uh, we uh, uh, and he said we shall make ourselves comfortable, which we will do right now. <laughs> Going up at now, just for fun, great idea. Perfect, 12% gradient, wind from the front, why? We're almost at the top where you can go with an armor bicycle.
I am suffering. I know the view is amazing, but I can't enjoy. It's been about two months on the road. Two challenging months, but also very rich. So much has happened, so much we have learned, and this is just the beginning. But there's something we have to learn on the road as well, saying goodbye. Manuel, Adrian and Ivan, as well as Carmen, Chema and Rufa left already. Spending time with them was great, but now it's time to get back on our bicycles and we rush to Messina, to the ferry, to the Italian mainland. What will the next year bring for us? You will be the first to know, at least if you are subscribed to our channel. If you enjoy watching our little adventure unfold, you might want to activate notifications by clicking on the bell too. A special thanks to our supporters on buymeacoffee.com. It makes a big difference and helps us to create more videos. See you in Calabria. And may the wind be in your back.